YouTube, this is just going to be a quick uh, video of some upgrades I've done to the Archimedes. I did a video on this a long time ago where I basically repaired it. It was rotten with battery acid, I basically rebuilt that half of the board. When I got this, it came with a normal floppy drive and the drive did work. And I had a bunch of uh, games and utilities and bits and bobs. What I've done is I've put a GoTech drive on it, which I've modified to have a screen and a button to select the disc. And I've also put on it a compact flash to IDE adapter. Now this machine has got an HCCS module on it, that's the blue thing here, and that just attaches to the motherboard by pin headers. And that was like the carrier board for the original Connor drive, the hard drive, two and a half inch laptop hard drive, which I tried to revive but couldn't get going at all. What I've got here is a bit temperamental at the moment, I think there's a loose connection here. When I do the case up I think it pushes down on it and makes it actually work, but I think there's a bit of a iffy connection here. But I've got a 256 uh, megabyte hard drive or compact flash drive basically acting as the hard drive and that does out actually now work. I'm going to show you the program I used to get that to work and it's only because of some people on the Stardot forums that managed to get the file onto a, um, I managed to get it onto a USB stick onto the GoTech drive and then load it as a disk and use that to format the compact flash card. So I'll show you that. But that is the machine. I've done another couple of mods here. The first one is the CMOS battery. Previous to this, I had, or I had still put a button cell with a diode on the motherboard. Now that's great, um, but it does mean when you put it in storage, you've got to undo the case, you've got to take the battery out, the battery doesn't last very long. So this is just a 3D printed thing I've made, and it slides, I'm not going to tip it over when it's open, but it slides into a little recess um, under the machine. So it's almost like it was made for it and when you finish with it you just disconnect this and um, put it away also showed a video on making a mouse for it um, out of an old e cheetah optical mouse which does work but then i've gone for one of these bespoke um, you know ps2 adapters so while it's open i might as well show you what i was talking about the uh, cmos battery there so originally i put the button cell on with a diode on the back so it doesn't charge it it's a 2032 cell 3 volts, nominal, um, but as you can see, every time you want to put it in storage, you've got to take the cable out, put stress on the, um, take the keyboard out rather, put stress on the cable, undo the case, you know, the case I was repaired, these little tabs I had to repair, I don't like taking it apart if I don't have to, so what I've done is I've run um, the power and ground basically down these cables, out of here, down through the bottom of the case, and this is actually a thing that they designed to take either AA or AAA batteries but never used, don't know why. But that is now where this slots into. Just a shot inside of the GoTech floppy drive. It's a standard GoTech floppy drive. I've made a couple of modifications. I put this switch on it here, which basically selects the drive, and all you've got to do is put a um, few pin headers on here and solder it to, I can't read that, but I think it's jumper A, I think it is. Uh, I'll link the instructions in the description and there's another jumper there, I think it's S0, so this drive is S0. The only other modifications I've made in this is a um, you know, a Banggood OLED screen which is about 3 quid. And then I've just, where, where the original um, you know, 7 segment display came off, I've taken VCC and ground to that and then SDA and SCL and the firmware copes with that fine. So that is now running the latest version of the firmware and the latest version of firmware uh, supports natively the Archimedes disk format not to be confused with the Amiga disk format both called ADF the only other addition I've made here is a 4 megabyte uh, RAM upgrade and that was purchased from a guy called Dave Hitchens on uh, startup forums that's a 44 pin or it's a 2.5 inch IDE to 3.5 inch IDE cable and then it's got power which is just 5 volts and ground going to the little compact flash drive. That was the only, and I'll link it in the description, the only compact flash drive and card, or adapter and card combo that I've got working so far. So I'll link those in the description. Prior to settling on that compact flash drive, I tried another couple of options. I tried this particular board, didn't work, black screen. No way of selecting master or slave, bit of a non-star. That's an SD card adapter. Then I tried this suggestion, I've stuffed pin headers in here, but it's an IDE to compact flash and then a compact flash to SD adapter didn't work. Now I suspect the reason that this didn't work is because I had a loose connection on the IDE module. I will go back and revisit that. However, I did try it 
of a 16 gig card but partitioned the first 500 odd megabytes off it didn't work uh, tried messing around with master and slave and i'd either get a black screen or no ide module found that may work and i may revisit it but to be honest i just thought i'd try and help stop people waste time this whatever this is definitely doesn't work this may have worked but i gave up with it it's the disk drive module that comes with it and this is what i was talking about levering it off so putting the stick in there and just gently levering them up so i'm not putting pressure on the board um <clears throat> it is a armstrong walker ide a3000 uh i believe i'm not an archimedes expert hccs i haven't checked those roms but what i have done with this is reflowed absolutely everything and recapped it yeah just as i'm soldering it i had to cut that pin to make it compatible with the adapter. So there it all is, ready to go, apart from I haven't put the battery underneath it. But starting it up from cold, turn it on, I have to hold R down because the delete key doesn't work. That's just one more thing to sort out. Now because the CMOS battery's been out of it, it doesn't know there's a hard drive there, so I have to tell it that there is one. I press F12. And I only have to do this each time the CMOS battery's been removed. And there's my little guppy sheet for my guppy memory of the commands that I have to type to tell it that there is a hard drive. So I won't bore you with that, I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so after pressing F12, I'll put those uh, commands in one at a time, press return after each one. Obviously I made a couple of errors there, but no worries. Then I type status, like that. And when I hit return, I get all the information. And if I hit shift, and then return, we go back to the screen. Now, if this don't show up yet, I've got to restart the machine. Okay, so how to get the compact flash drive formatted? Well, use the GoTech floppy. Got the file from the guys, the kind guys at uh, Startup Forums. Put it on the stick, select it, press the button. So that would be, this is just an example. Now, that becomes the floppy drive image this is the floppy drive we open that up click it there it is you can see it would show up our drive in this case the drive is Paris because I've already formatted it and I'm not touching it uh, if I wanted to partition it I would go in there and I would look at the drive here Sound disk SDC FJ 256. That is Paris. And all I did was guess the shape and update all the partitions. I'm not going to do that again because I can't go through it all again. And I have already got stuff on there. But that is how I did it. Now, just to show you quickly, if I wanted to take the file from the uh, inverted commas floppy drive and put it on Paris I would just literally pick it up like that dump it there and that is now right in the floppy drive to Paris on the Archimedes and you can see the light flashing there it's doing it and it's done it you can see here I'm going through the discs, the real discs, putting them on a compact flash card with the real drive because some of these discs are failing. I'm not going to bore you with each one, but I'll show you quickly one of them. So this is Pipe Dream 4. Where Pipe Dream 4 goes in the drive. The drive's just balanced there, so I've got to be a little bit careful. See there, I've set up a directory called, um, on Paris, called Pipe Dream. I'm just going to grab each file from the real floppy. You can see it successfully copied it to Paris, which is the compact flash drive. So that's one disc rescued. I'm going to go through the rest of my collection here, salvaging anything I can onto the um, compact flash. Hopefully you can see there I've managed to salvage some of those discs. I've uh, got some decent things. Um, Lander, which is a pretty good demo. Um, a few demo discs. A couple of games. Nothing fantastic. Okay, so finally got it all back together. I'll drop that... Uh, module down or the, the, the compact flash drive down about three mil and it all shuts putting no pressure on the board and there's lander so this was like a, a kind of a, a demo thing i'm not going to play it with one hand through the camera 
because it would be it's difficult enough to play normally. But uh, yeah, you basically fly the the lander around, and it's very difficult to do. Like thrust vectoring back to front, and ooh. Anyway, you get the idea. So that is all working. The only thing I've now got to figure out is why the RGB shoves the picture over. As you can see, it's not a massive deal, but it does just mean that when I'm on the um, desktop there, it's like that much of the screen's disappeared off to the side. It must be a V uh, eight sync issue. I don't know. I don't know enough about it to be honest. But hopefully, um, you found that useful on how to get a uh, compact flash drive and a GoTech floppy running in an Archimedes A3000. I'll link the file, you know, it, some of these have different modules, they're not all the same, but if you've got that one and you want to try um, getting a, some some sort of decent storage on it and a way of getting files on it, then that may help you. Thanks for watching, see you all later, cheers, bye.